Special thanks to the Patreon supporter Repentless Lamb for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kirito before you're bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Sukhoi SU-30SM. The Sukhoi SU-30, NATO reporting named Flanker, is a twin-engine, two-seat, super-maneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. It is a multi-role fighter for all-weather, air-to-air, and air-to-surface deep interdiction missions. The SU-30 started out as an internal development project in the Sukhoi SU-27 family by Sukhoi. The design plan was revamped and named, and the name was made official by the Russian Minist Defense Ministry in 1996. Of the Flaker family, the SU-27, SU-30, SU-33, SU-34, and SU-35 have been ordered into limited or serial, serial production by the Russian uh, Defense Ministry. The SU-30 has two distinct version branches manufactured by competing organizations, KNAAPO and Irkut Corporation, both of which came under Sukhoi's group's umbrella. So uh, yeah, the uh, SU-30, really interesting aircraft, and the SU-30SM is basically the modernized version, which just has some various little upgrades to it here and there, but still is relatively close in comparison to the traditional uh, SU-30. Um, really cool looking aircraft, and I think the camouflage on it, or the color scheme we went with, looks super awesome. Uh, very reminiscent to my SU-34 I did uh, not too long ago. So yeah, awesome looking aircraft, and our first kind of actual Russian air superiority modern fighter, which is also really cool. I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Repentless Lamb for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the video description where you can pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing. It really helps uh, support me and my work and is uh, obviously hugely appreciated. So, big thanks to my patrons and again, feel free to check it out. Link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look here at this aircraft. Obviously, we have both the in-flight and landed version. So, go ahead and get started with, we have a white-tipped nose and a kind of darker um, upper tone, which is based off of some versions of the aircraft. And on the bottom here, we have a kind of blue, light blue body, basically more of like a cyan type blue. Um, it looks super nice. Um, I love the two contrasting tones here. I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, we have basically the cockpit here, pretty straightforward, all the detailing here and shaping for it, the two uh, vertical stabilizers and the two horizontals, the wings themselves, and the two winglets here, which I believe is one of the SM versions kind of main features is that, is that it does have the winglets. I don't think that the uh, standard SU-30 does, so that's just one of the little differences there you can see. Um, but yeah, this one is the landed version, so as you can see, we do have the landing gear here, which is an additional option you can have. Uh, obviously, armed with some air-to-air -air missiles and various different uh, missiles. I'm not too familiar with Russian missiles or anything like that, um, so I couldn't really tell you exactly what they are. But I imagine since this is for air-to-air -air and uh, air-to-ground, it probably has a combination of both, at least in this loadout, which seemed to be pretty common uh, when I was looking at pictures of the loadouts for the SU-30s. Uh, but really nice looking aircraft, and again, is our first ever actual kind of modern Russian air superiority fighter. So nice to build one of these and finally have um, finally have uh, one of these fighters. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our first layer. We're going to go ahead and start off with layer two. Now we're we'll start with layer two because it's a decent layer to start with. Kind of gets us started on our engines and all that stuff. And layer one's really going to just be adding some. Uh, missiles here to the bottom of the engines so or the I should say the intakes rather so uh, let's go ahead and dive into it now if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials the way I search these tutorials is I like to do half on camera half off what this means is that I'm going to be building half the aircraft on camera along with the center line and they'll be up to you guys to copy the other side over to the other side once we get done with that one side it's pretty straightforward and once we get through the first few layers it's going to make a little bit more sense also in addition uh, we will be building this aircraft in the in-flight design first, and then we will be basically modifying it to be the landed one. So if you are going to be building the in the landed version, um, 
we're going to go ahead and need to make sure we take some special measurements into consideration. Now this layer here, layer 2, is going to be a total of two blocks off the ground as you can see here with our rear engines. So very important to make sure that we have two blocks of space between us, the ground level right here, and basically the bottom here of the um, the bottom here of these intakes. Uh, again, very important if it's too high, too low, it's not going to sit properly on the ground. So again, just make sure you take that in consideration when we, when we get started. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. So beginning with, we're going to go ahead and go to the front up here. And again, if you're building the landed version here, we're going to go ahead and go up uh, three blocks, and we're going to have an iron trap door come out the third block to be on the top portion. So again, it's on the top portion of the block, not on the bottom like this. We're going to have three iron trap doors like so. We're going to go and then go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 spaces back. Um, once we get to our 15 space, we're going to go ahead and then place down one block out to both sides. Now from this, we can go ahead and start building our intakes. So for our intakes here, we're going to place down a prismarine upside down stair, followed by another prismarine stair, and then a additional upside down stair, which comes off that slab, so just like that. Once that's done, going back from the prismarine slab, we're going to place down a black concrete block. And we're going to go ahead and then take our cyan concrete, and we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3, cyan concrete, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, prismarine upside down stairs going back. We're going to go ahead and then place down another additional 3 cyan concrete blocks going down the center, followed by uh, 3 prismarine brick slabs to both sides, and those are top slabs by the way. We're going to go ahead and then take our polished dance site, we're going to place down a row of 3 of polished dance site top slabs across, followed by a second row of three. We're going to go ahead then take a cobblestone top slab, we're going to place down two cobblestone top slabs going down the center here. Two iron trap doors to both sides. A polished inside top slab, iron trap door to both sides, a cobblestone top slab, and again a iron trap door to both sides like that. When we get to the last section here, we're going to place down one and two polished inside top slabs come off this uh, cobblestone top slab like that, and an iron trap door here on the very end. After that's all complete there, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a prismarine wall, which is going to come off the side here of this iron trap door, a cyan concrete block back, and we're going to then place down a prismarine upside down stair and prismarine top side like that to go and finish that off. After that's all complete, this is what uh, you should have here. You're going to go ahead and take obviously what we did on the right side here and flip over to the left side, and you should have a design that looks like this here for our first layer, layer two. Um, again, make sure everything's correct because we're going to be basing the rest of the aircraft off this layer here, so very important that everything is correct. Anyways, that is it for layer 2. Let's move down to layer 1. Alright okay, guys, moving into layer 1. Layer 1 is a super simple layer. All we're going to do is go to the bottom here of these intakes. We're going to place down a quartz, a uh, smooth quartz, top slab underneath this black concrete block, and then a skeleton skull coming off of it. We're going to place down a second smooth quartz top slab back with a skeleton skull coming off both sides of that top slab. We then want to place down a smooth quartz upside down stair with a birchwood fence gate coming off both sides of the stair, opened up toward it, and a birchwood sign coming off the side there of those fence gates. We're going to then place down a smooth quartz top slab, direct top slab, and a skeleton skull just like that. And that's going to basically make our missile design. You're going to take the same design and copy it over the other side, and you have your two missiles here, which are mounted on the bottoms of the uh, intakes. Anyways, that right there is it for layer one. Let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a smooth quartz block on top of this iron trap door up in the front, so the very front one. And we're going to then place down a second smooth quartz block coming off of it. We're going to follow that up by placing down a quartz upside down stair, quartz top side, and an iron trap door for the front. Going back from this quartz block and then remaining two iron trap doors, we're going to place down two smooth quartz blocks on top of those, followed by one, two, and three cyan tear or cyan uh, concrete blocks, my bad, and one, two, three, and four prismarine top slabs. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a row of four of iron trap doors going back from those four prismarine top slabs. Once uh, that's complete here, we're going to go ahead and grab some placeholder blocks, and we're going to go ahead and skip a space back from this iron trap door, one, two, three, and four blocks. We're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab, a second smooth quartz top slab, quartz upside down stair, quartz top slab, and a diorite top slab. On the front side here of this quartz slab, we're going to place down a skeleton spool, and we're going to place that skeleton spool off the back of this diorite slab, like so. On both sides of the second slab from front, we're going to place down a skeleton spool, birchwood fence gate here to the side, and a birchwood sign come off the side of the fence gate. So basically making these missile designs the same we put on the bottom here of the intakes. 
Once that's done, we're going to skip one and two spaces back from the skeleton spool. We're going to place down one, two, quartz top slabs, quartz up down stair, quartz top slab, that right top slab. Skeleton spool on the side here of this top slab and also on this uh, top slab here in the front. The second top slab back, skeleton spool to both sides and a birch with fence gate to both sides opened up toward the stair and a birch with sign there on the sides for your missiles. And once we have that done, moving back up to the front section, we're going to start working our way out to the sides. We're going to start off by placing down a skeleton spool on the side of this first smooth course block. We're going to go ahead and then take our quartz stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three quartz upside down stairs back, a prismarine upside down stair, and one, two, oops, my bad, one, two, three, and four prismarine top slabs. We're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, and three iron trap doors back like that to go ahead and finish that off. And that's going to do it there for the front section. Uh, again, we're going to take what we did on the right side and flip it over to the left side. Moving back to this section here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start on our intakes. So for our intakes here, we're going to go ahead and place down a cyan uh, concrete block on top of these two stairs. And we're going to go ahead and then place down one block going forward, followed by a quartz, or, sorry, prismarine top slab coming off that block. We're going to go ahead and then place down an additional cyan concrete block back, and then a black concrete block on top of this one from the previous layer. We then want to place down one two, three, four, five, and six rows of three of cyan concrete going back. We're going to go ahead and take our polished andesite. We're going to place down one and two rows of three of polished andesite, followed by two rows of three of cobblestone, and a row of three of polished andesite, and a row of three of cobblestone. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a row of two of polished andesite blocks here in the center. And then to both sides, we're going to place down a polished andesite upside down stair, followed by upside down andesite stair coming off it. So you have a corner stair and a regular stair, and same thing over here as well. We're going to place down a cobblestone block there in the center, followed by a cobblestone upside down stair here to both sides. A black concrete block here in the middle, and a narrow brick top slab going off both sides of that black concrete block. Come out the black concrete block, come going back, we're going to place down a narrow brick top slab, polished andesite top slab. And actually, sorry, my bad, it's going to be a narrow brick upside down stair. So rather than slab, upside down stair, and then to both sides of that stair, we're going to place down a skeleton spool like so. Or a wither skeleton spool. Um, so once that's done, uh, going ahead and going back up to the front of the intake here, we're going to go to the fourth cyan terracotta block bag and we're going to place down an iron trap door. For this, we're going to go ahead and then take our prismarine top slabs and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 prismarine top slabs back, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, prismarine uh, full blocks. And we want to go ahead and then place down a prismarine top slab here on the end, followed by an iron trap door, like that for the sides there. After that, we're going to go ahead and start getting into some more of our missile designs. So. For our missiles here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and go two blocks out to the side, so one, two, and we're going to go ahead and then place down our quartz top slab. We're going to place down a second quartz top slab back, followed by a quartz up down stair, quartz top slab, and our diorite slab just like that. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton spool, turn off this diorite slab, turn off this quartz slab on both sides of the second quartz slab here. Birchwood fence gate on both sides of the stair, open up toward it, and a birchwood sign come off this fence gate. So basically the same design we've done for the previous uh, four missiles we've built, and that right there is going to do it for the first one. Our second one here, we're going to go ahead and go off of this quartz, or this skeleton skull for quartz top slab, skeleton skull coming off it forward, quartz top slab back, a smooth quartz upside down stair, quartz top slab, and a polished diorite top slab followed by a skeleton skull coming off the uh, top slab on the back there. We're going to go ahead and go to the slab here and only on the outside side, so the side here we're going to place down the skeleton skull. We're then going to place down a birchwood fence gate coming off the side of this stair. We're going to delete this birchwood sign and on this side of the stair here we're going to place down the birchwood fence gate as well, followed by a birchwood sign coming off the fence gate on both sides of this one like that. So for our inner sound of missiles out here to the side, we're going to go, and go off the skeleton school and we're going to go, and go one, two, and three blocks out to the side. So going to the skeleton school, we're going to go one, two, three blocks out to the side. We're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by two diorite top slabs, and a quartz top slab like that. On both ends, we're going to place down a skeleton school, and we want to go and then run 
birchwood signs here along the sides of these slabs. So every one of these slabs is going to get a birchwood sign. So just like that. And then for our last missile here, uh, we're going to go ahead and go off of this uh, birchwood sign right here with a bat rate top side. A quartz top side going forward with a skeleton skull like that. We're going to then go back one uh, bat rate, polished bat rate slab back and one quartz top side back. Skeleton spool obviously on both ends here and on the side facing toward the outside we're going to place down a row of four of signs and over here we're going to place down the one sign right here where we can which is on this slab and then these signs right here take up that space so uh, we want something just like that there for those two missiles on the side and here's a bit of an overview of what it should look like um, spacing wise and how this layer will look like once you have it all transferred over. Anyways that right there is it for layer number uh, three. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. Layer four is probably going to be our longest layer. We have a lot going on here, so make sure we uh, pay close attention to everything, and we pretty much get the main kind of silhouette of the aircraft really done uh, from the top down at this point. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to this iron trap door. We're going to place down a quartz slab coming off of it. Followed by two end rods like that to go and make the point here for the nose. Going back from the quartz slab, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 move quartz blocks, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 of these cyan concrete blocks. We're going to go then place down a prismarine top slab, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4 stone brick walls, 1, 2, 3, and 4 prismarine top slabs, 1, 2, 3, 4 stone brick walls, and then one, two, three, four, and five prismarine top slabs. Um, or sorry, my bad. It should be five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine prismarine top slabs in total right here. Going back to that stone brick wall. And that right there is going to make our center line. Moving our way out to the sides now. We're going to place down a skeleton school to the side of this, this quartz block, followed by two direct walls back after it. We're going to go then place down one, two, and three smooth quartz blocks. On the sides here of the middle smooth quartz block, we're going to place down a dark open button and then a tripwire hook directly after it. We're going to go ahead and then place down a cyan concrete block followed by a stone button. After that cyan concrete block, we're going to go, ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 cyan concrete blocks back like that, followed by 1, 2, and 3 prismarine upside down stairs, the prismarine top slab. And then we're going to go ahead and switch our prismarine stairs so they're facing this direction. So just to kind of give you guys a better view of what we got going on here, we have these two ups, three upside down stairs here, a quartz slab, and then we flip across the way and we have a quartz or a prismarine upside down stair like that. So again, uh, just for reference there, that's what it should look like underneath here. After that prismarine stair, we're going to go back an additional one, two, three, four, five, and six prismarine stairs. So it will give you a total of seven upside down prismarine stairs on the side here. We're going to go ahead and switch to polished data site and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four polished data site upside down stairs. And then going back to our uh, prismarine here, uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to prismarine top slabs. So we're going to go ahead and do a row of one, two, three, four, and five prismarine top slabs back. And then one, two, three, and four iron trap doors like so. Our next row to the side here, we're going to go, ahead and go back up here to the third cyan concrete block from front. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off it, followed by a second one. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six polished anisite top slabs back, and then a prismarine top slab. We're going to go ahead and take our cyan concrete, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cyan concrete blocks back, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Polished ASA blocks back, and then a cobblestone full block, followed by a, followed by a black concrete block, a nether brick wall, and then a stone brick wall coming off that nether brick wall like that for the rear there. Our next row, going back up to the front, we're going to go to this third polished ASA top slab, and we're going to place down top slab out to the side. On the two slabs in front of it, we're going to place down two skeleton tools coming off those. And then going back to the polished ASA top slab, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished ASA top slabs. We're going to go ahead and switch to our prismarine slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five prismarine slabs back, a black concrete block on top of this one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six 
cyan concrete blocks. Rigo then placed a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 polished anisite blocks back, followed by a glowstone block. Now if you do want to make this aircraft look like it is landed and the engines are not activated, or not on, uh, very simply, we're going to go ahead and replace this polished anisite block with that and just a black concrete block right here. And that will pretty much kind of black out the engines here. But if you do want to have the engines activated, we're going to have the glowstone block and the orange stained glass block like that. To kind of give it that impression that the engines are turned on and um, you know operational um, and that's going to do it there for that row our next row again going up to the kind of front here we're going to go to the third polished inside slab here we're going to place down an iron trap door to the side after that uh, we want to go ahead and take our prismarine slabs we're going to go back one and two prismarine slabs and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen cyan concrete blocks back we're going to go ahead and switch to gray concrete and we're actually my bad it's going to be a little bit different i was getting a little ahead of myself there so after this prismarine top set we want a row of 11 um, concrete so we have our 11 cyan concrete so my bad on that one but we're going to go then take our polish dance and we're going to go, ahead and go back one two three four five six seven eight blocks back the cobblestone full block black concrete block no brick wall and stone brick wall like that now after that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and again go up to the front here. We're going to go to this um, prismarine slab here. We're going to place down an iron trap door to the side of it, followed by a second one back. We're going to go ahead and then skip two spaces, and then on this cyan concrete block here, we're going to place down a prismarine top slab there to the side. After that uh, top slab, we're going to go ahead and go back with a prismarine upside down stair. Now also, in front of the top slab here, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton tool from off the side of this um, cyan concrete block just like that. Anyways after that uh, prismarine stair we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 cyan concrete block followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of three concrete now. A stone brick stair and that right there will finish off that row. Our next row to the side here we're going to go ahead and go off this iron trap door with one iron trap door then one back and just so that we don't have to worry about it later, we're going to go, ahead and go off this iron trap door with one out to the side there. We then want to place down an iron trap door coming off this prismarine stair here. And we're going to go ahead and then take our prismarine slabs and we're going to go ahead and go back two. So from this iron trap door, we're going to, go ahead and go back two prismarine slabs. Now from this part, we're going to, go ahead and then switch to uh, prismarine stairs. And we're going to have a row of six of prismarine stairs that go back. So. We're going to go and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 upside down prismarine stairs, and then 1 and 2 prismarine top slabs. Um, after that's done, we're going to just basically focus the wings and just get the wings built up for now. So, going back up here, we're going to place down an iron trap door off this prismarine slab, and we're going to then take our slabs and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 slabs back, and then we're going to place down two smooth stone slabs like this on the end here for our flaps. We're going to go and place down an iron trap door here next to that slab there. And we want to go ahead and then place down a prismarine slab back from it. We're going to go ahead and take our prismarine walls and we're going to go ahead and do a row of one, two, and three of prismarine walls. We then want to take our prismarine slabs, we're going to do one, two, three back, and a smooth stone slab. Our next row here, we're going to place down an iron trap door off the side of the slab, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six prismarine slabs back, and then one and two smooth stone slabs after that. Next row here, iron trap door, a prismarine slab, and we're going to then do, or uh, sorry, we're just going to do an iron trap door and then one, two, and three prismarine walls like so. After that, we're going to then do one and two uh, prismarine slabs and then two smooth stone blocks, or two smooth, smooth sandstone slabs just like that. Next row, uh, iron trap door come off this wall. And then one, two, three, four, and five prismarine slabs back, and then a smooth stone slab there on the end. We're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves some brick walls, as we're gonna be using these here. Uh, we're gonna start off by going in and placing down an iron trap door here, and we're gonna go ahead and then go back two prismarine slabs, and then two brick slabs, and then we're gonna go ahead and place down a smooth stone slab just like that. Next row, iron trap door come off this slab here, followed by a prismarine slab, 
two brick slabs, and then two smooth stone slabs going backwards. So, we're going to go ahead and then place down a iron trap door. And after that iron trap door, we're going to place down a prismarine slab back, two prismarine walls, and a smooth uh, stone top slab. And then our next row, iron trap door off this prismarine slab, one and two prismarine slabs, and then a smooth stone slab there on the end. Once we have that done, we're going to grab our stone brick walls again, and we're also going to need some end rods. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick walls along the side there, and then one and two end rods coming off and going forward like that for the pylon for the missile here on the very edge tip of the wing. And once you have that done, uh, that is going to complete your main wings, and we're going to go ahead and now move into the horizontal stabilizers. These ones here. A little bit easier, uh, thankfully. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and go to the third great concrete block. So this one right here, we're going to place on each stone brick slab on the side, and then we're going to go back from it. One, two, three, four, five, and six, giving you a total of seven there. We're going to go ahead and place down a second or a row of six this time coming off of it. So we're going to go into the second slab. One, two, three, four, five, six. After that, we're going to go ahead and do a row of three. So we're going to the third stone brick slab here. One out to the side, and then two back, so you row three, and then two iron trap doors. After that, we're going to do a row of four of iron trap doors, so one, two, three, four. Then a row of three of iron trap doors, one, two, three. And then one come off that one right there, just like that. And after that, we're going to then place down a skeleton spool on the side of this slab, just like that. And with that all done, that is going to complete basically our wings, horizontal slave ledgers, and what we have here for layer 3. As you can see, we have a really good silhouette of what the jet's going to look like, and you can see she is quite a chonker. Anyways, right there is it for layer number 4. With that, let's move into uh, layer number 5, and from here on out, the layers sh should be definitely a lot easier. Um, that right there is probably our longest and uh, most difficult layer for sure. Anyways, let's move on to layer 5. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. Layer 5, we go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz slab on top of this quartz full block, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4, smooth quartz full blocks back, and then 2 great concrete blocks like that. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then skip a space of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and this is basically your interior space if you do want to build a cockpit for it. Uh, for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to fill this space of 6 with uh, gray con or, uh, black uh, concrete. But if you want to leave it open and build an interior for yourself, then feel free to go ahead and use that space right there for interior. Anyways, after the space of six, or the, the uh, space of six filled in of gray concrete, whatever you choose to do, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 gray concrete blocks back, two polished andesite full blocks, gray concrete block, polished inside full block, and one, two, three, four, five, and six gray concrete blocks, and then a stone brick slab here on the very end. And that right there is going to make your center line there for the aircraft. We're going to way out to the sides now. We're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton school on top of this second diorite right wall here at a slight angle like so. Going back from it, we're going to place down a quartz slab, quartz stair, and a quartz full block. We're going to take our great concrete, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great concrete blocks back, followed by two polished andesite full blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, great concrete blocks back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone brick stairs, one and two stone brick slabs, and two skeleton schools around off the back there like that. After uh, that row is done, we're going to go back up here to the front. We want to place down a stone button on the side of this first gray concrete block. We're also going to go ahead and go into our crate menu, grab ourselves an item frame and also a white stained glass pane. We're going to place down an item frame and a white stained glass pane there on the side of that block. After that, we're going to take our gray carpet. We're going to place down one and two gray carpets here, followed by two iron trap doors. And we're going to then place down uh, two. Polished andesite slabs, polished andesite stair, two stairs back from the corner, stair, two stairs, so just like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gray concrete blocks back, one, two, three stone brick stairs, one, two, three stone brick slabs, and then we're going to place down a stone brick stair facing this direction, followed by a cobblestone stair, two polished andesite uh, stairs, and then another cobblestone stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick slab, and uh, we're going to go ahead and stop it right there. 
Going back up to the front, our next row to the side here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two of iron trap doors, so one, two in this spot right here. So we come off the corner stair and this first normal stair, and we're going to go and then place down a polished anesthetic slab directly after that. We then want to place down two stone brick slabs, followed by one, two, three, four stone brick slabs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone brick slabs back. Um, also, these are stone brick stairs, not slabs, in case you can tell. And then after that row of eight of stone brick slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six great concrete blocks back just like that. And after that is all done there, we want to go ahead and very simply place down a black concrete block here, followed by a narrow brick, up, or a narrow brick stair coming off of it, with our skeletons going on both sides of that stair, and a polished anesthetic slab coming off the stair like that going back. After that, again going up to the front here and working our way up to the side, we're going to take gray carpet and start on this iron trap door. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four gray carpets back followed by one and two and three iron trap doors. We're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stone brick slab pack, stone brick stair, double stone stair, two polished anesthetic stairs, and a cobble, or cobblestone stair like that. Another brick slab on top of that black marking block, and that's going to finish that off. Next row, going up to our wing here, we're going to place down a stone pressure plate on top of this slab here, and then two iron trap doors back from it. We're going to take our stone brick slabs and place down one, two, three, four, and five stone brick slabs back, followed by row three of iron trap doors. This point right here, uh, we're going to start to get into our vert a little bit. So for this, we're going to place down a smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz full block, and one, two, three, four, and five gray concrete blocks back, just like that. Our next row here, we're going to place down a stone pressure plate on that first iron trap door, two iron trap doors back, and then this time we're going to do a row of four of stone brick slabs back. After that, two iron trap doors, and then two of our gray concrete or gray carpet pieces going back like that. Our next row up to the side here, stone pressure plate again in the front here, two iron trap doors, and then we're going to place down two stone brick slabs, then one, two, and three iron trap doors back. Our next row here, we're going to place down a stone pressure plate in the, top, in the front here, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron trap doors back. Our next row, again, stone pressure plate here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six iron trap doors back. Stone pressure plate up here. One, two, three, four, five iron trap doors. And then we want to go ahead and go to this section. Stone pressure plate, gray carpet, two iron trap doors, and then two gray carpets back. Now when we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some red carpet also. On these brick top sides, we're going to place down red carpet. And on the remaining stone pressure plates here, we're going to place down our stone pressure plates. After that, on the remaining prismarine top slabs and walls, we're just going to place down gray carpet to go ahead and cover it up and give that nice gray color there to the wings. And with that done, we're going to go ahead and also go up to the front here. And on top of these iron trap doors, we're also going to place down gray carpet, just like that. And once that's all finished there, that is pretty much it for this layer, as long as I'm not missing anything. And actually, one quick thing, we're going to go to the outer edges of the wings and on these last three stone brick walls, we're also going to place down gray carpet as well. Anyways, once we have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, five there for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number six. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to start off with, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of the smooth quartz block, followed by a quartz slab back from the iron trap door quartz stair and then two black concrete blocks after the quartz stair. We then have the space of six that we can go and choose leave open if you're doing an interior. If you are not doing an interior, you can just go and fill this in with one, two, three, four, five, and six rows, or six blocks of black concrete. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen gray concrete blocks back from that row, followed by a quartz stair, quartz slab, stone brick slab, one, two, three, iron trap doors, two stone buns on these two polished anesthetic blocks, and the stone bun on this polished anesthetic block right here. Our next row, going up to the front and out to the sides, we're going to place down a skeleton spool on top of this smooth quartz block like that, out to the side, 
narrow brick slab, narrow brick stair, and then two black concrete blocks, followed by one, two, three, four gray concrete blocks, one and two polished anzite blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gray concrete blocks back like that. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, stone brick corner stair, one, two, three, or one and two stone brick slabs, and then one, two, three iron trap doors. Again, uh, up to the front here. One thing we can also do is to go ahead and add a unit number onto the side of the aircraft. So go into these two black concrete blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down like a number. I'll be linking a tutorial down in the description which will show you guys how to make the numbered banners so you guys can make your own. But basically you want a gray um, banner with a one in, a, or basically whatever number you want with uh, black letters. You can also use blue if you want as well. There's some of black, some of blue, so you can go ahead and do like a nice like cyan or like light blue one and it kind of match the undertone of, of the uh, aircraft. You could also do that which will look pretty cool as well. Um, but again I'll leave it up to you guys to do and you can do whatever numbers you don't have to do 13, you can do whatever numbers you guys want based off that tutorial. Again that's linked down in the video description. Anyways once that's done we're going to go to the second gray concrete block here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five stone brick walls along the side here and then one and two stone brick slabs directly after it. Once that's done we're going to then focus our attention here to our engines. We're going to place down uh, one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors on top of those blocks like so. Then on top of this move quartz block, we're going to place down an additional smooth quartz block up. One, two, three. Gray concrete blocks. A stone brick wall. And we're going to place down a smooth uh, stone slab like that. We then want to grab stone buttons and on the sides of these blocks. We're going to place down the stone buttons all the way along the sides here. So it's going to be on both sides, just like that. And once that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, 6 for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 7. I right, guess going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number 7. Now, for layer 7, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on this second uh, black concrete block right here. Then going back from the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like resting those blocks back from that slab. And then we're going to place down a black concrete block by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 uh, gray concrete blocks back, a stone brick stair, two stone brick slabs like that to go and finish our middle row off. Moving our way out to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down two light gray stainless panes to mark these two light gray blocks. And depending on which side you're working on, so over here on the right side, we're going to place down a wither skeleton school at about a slight angle like that in the front here. Over here on the will be the left side of the cockpit, we're going to place down the wooden skeleton school coming off the pane. So just make sure you're paying attention, there is that slight difference there. It's not super major, but uh, again, there is that difference. So just make sure that it's uh, different there on both sides for the front. After those two panes, we're going to place down one, two, and three layer brick slabs, and then one and two black concrete blocks. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four gray concrete blocks back, a stone brick stair, stone brick corner stair, and a stone brick slab. Coming off the side of the second from front gray concrete block, we're going to place down a skeleton school and an end rod coming off of it facing toward the front, like so. After that's all done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, smooth quartz stair on top of this block, and then going back from that stair, we're going to place down a smooth quartz full block, and then one and two gray concrete blocks, followed by one and two uh, smooth stone uh, slab full blocks of stone blocks on both sides of the smooth sandstone or smooth uh, stone block just like that. And with that done, that is going to complete layer 7 uh, for the build. And with that, let's move on to layer number 8. I guess move on to our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a nerd brick slab on top of this second black gray stainless full block here. And then back from it, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 black gray stainless blocks. Where they're going to take our light gray stainless panes, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 along the side of those 5 uh, light gray stainless full blocks. We're going to then place down a stone brick stair here, and then a stone brick slab, followed by 1 and 2 virtual buttons uh, back from the stone brick stairs. Also the center line here, going back from the light gray stainless blocks, we're going to place down 1 and 2 of these uh, gray concrete blocks, a stone brick stair, stone brick stair facing the opposite direction from it, and then a stone brick slab. Um, and that right there is going to do it there for the front of the cockpit. And then go into the back here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz block on top of this one. One and two gray concrete blocks. 
two smooth uh, stone slabs like this, and we're going to go and place down stone buttons here on both sides of this first uh, slab full block like that. And with that, that is it for layer number eight. And with that, let's move on to layer number nine. All right, guys, we went into layer nine. We're going to go ahead and start off this layer by going ahead and going to the top here. We're going to go ahead and go to the second link green stained glass block, place down a daylight detector on top of it, two narrow brick slabs back, and a narrow daylight detector like that. After that's done, we're going to go to the stone brick slab back here. We're going to place down a iron bar on top of it like so. That's it for that. Go ahead and move into the tail here. We're going to place down a quartz stair on top of this quartz block. Smooth quartz block back from the stair. One and two great concrete blocks back. A stone bun on both sides of this grave. Second great concrete block. And then a smooth stone slab block right there on the um, end. And that right there is going to complete layer number nine. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here. Layers... Uh, 10, 11, 12, and 13. We're going to put the tips of the verts on and basically uh, finish off the in-play version of this build. Anyways, with that, let's move into our final layers, layers 10 through 13. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers. We have layers 10 through 13. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a gray concrete block on top of this quartz block, stone brick stair on top of it. We then want to place down a gray concrete block here, red concrete block, followed by a gray concrete block, and then a smooth quartz stair on top. Next row here, we're going to go, and go up one, two, three great concrete blocks and then two smooth or a smooth quartz block up on top. Row back here, we're going to place down one and two smooth um, stone slabs like this and then stone buttons here on the sides. And then a great concrete block up on top here and a quartz slab like that. We then want to place down an end rod, come off this gray concrete block toward the back, and a dark drooped fence gate, come off this um, smooth stone block, just like that, for the very back tail. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for the tail, and with that, layers 10 through 13, completing our in-flight version of the SU-30SM. We're going to go ahead and now move into modifying it to make it the landed version, so those of you guys that do want to build it landed, uh, we'll be showing you guys how to do that next. But that is it for the in-flight version. Let's move into the landed version. All right, guys, moving into the landed version. So for the landed version here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the bottom section up here and doing our front wheel first. For this, we're going to go ahead and go to the section right after this, this uh, slab here. We're going to delete this slab and delete the scion block above it. And we're going to go ahead and then delete the next three spaces. So this iron trap door, this block, iron trap door, that block, and iron trap door on the block. So we get this space right underneath here. We're going to go ahead and fill in the blocks here, or swap these blocks out for some smooth quartz blocks like this to create the wheel well. We then want to go ahead and take our diorite walls. We're going to go ahead and drop down one, two, three walls down like that. On the middle wall, so this wall here, we're going to place down an item frame. And then in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a snow block. Like so. We then want to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this diorite wall right here. And then a uh, end rod which is going to go ahead and go up into its like so so just like that we then want to place down a stone brick wall so we'll grab one of those it goes down like this a quartz top slab on the bottom of that wall a black coal or block of coal to both sides here stone bun on both ends item frame and a white stained glass paint in the item frame same thing over here item frame, white stained glass paint in the item frame. Then come off the stone brick wall, a quartz upside down stair like that. We're going to go and then place down a lever coming off of it. So on top of the stair, flick toward the direct wall like that. We then want to take our prismarine stairs. We're going to go and go to the sides of this end rod. We're going to place down a prismarine stair, followed by one and two more forward. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three. And just like that, we have our front wheel uh, landing gear done. And we're going to now move into our rear landing gear. And lastly, going ahead and moving into our rear wheels. For these wheels, we're going to go ahead and start off by going down to this section here. We're going to go ahead and go to the second prismarine top slab uh, underneath the wings here. We're going to delete this one, followed by three more after it. So one, two, three. So you have a row of four cut out. We're going to go then break these blocks above here. And in its place, we're going to go ahead and place down a, uh, a direct wall, which is going to be actually sorry it's gonna be yeah a wall right here in this section 
and then one, two, and three. Let's move towards top slabs going forward. Dropping down from this diorite wall, we're going to place down a additional diorite wall and then a quartz upside down stair face in that direction. Coming down from the quartz block, we're going to place down a diorite wall like this and then a quartz top slab like so. Coming off the uh, diorite wall toward the front, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair, a lever which is going to be flicked toward the stair. We then want to place down a uh, quartz slab coming off this diorite wall, followed by a quartz top slab. And this rock right here, if we're going to turn this into a quartz full block in that location like that. We can also place down a lever like this uh, on the bottom of that block, flick toward this slab, like so. After that's done, uh, we're going to then place down a inner brick upside down stair here, stair on top, upside down stair on the back, and stair come off the back of that one. So you go ahead and create your wheel design here. We're going to then take our uh, prismarine stairs and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four covering up that section there for the doors that would open up to expose the landing gear. Lastly, and an optional piece is to go ahead and add the banner wheels. So if you're very if you're familiar with some of my uh, previous tutorials, I went ahead and I used banners, uh, a design to basically create a cool little wheel design here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that now here. It kind of beefs up the tires, makes them look a little bit better, at least in my opinion. But uh, it's optional. Some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't. So. This is, a, is an optional feature you can choose to add. So for this wheel to kind of give it a better look, I think, we're going to place down a loom. Go into our loom, we're going to need two black banners and two white dye. We're going to go ahead and select the line here on the left. That's our first banner. And then the line on the right. So we have these two banners here. We're going to take our black dye. We're going to need four black dye. We're going to put it back into our loom. Black banner. We're going to go and select the bottom line for black and the top line. That's our first banner. And we're going to do the same thing here for this second banner. So bottom line and top line. And just like that, we get these two banners. And very simply, we're just going to place them down on the side of those two uh, narrow brick stairs like that. As you can see, it kind of creates a little bit more of a round shape if you look at it head on. And just kind of adds a little bit more of a real look to it. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number or the landing gear, sorry. Um, and with that, that will complete my tutorial for both the landed and in flight version for the SU-30M. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this being thing from the sound of the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for your free for broad projects you guys are working on overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all, this fun st and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Repentless Lamb for making this tutorial possible, and feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to, get to, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, and I'll see you guys next time.